What's up guys, my name is Cole Zarek, welcome to the channel, and these are the Jabra Elite Sport headphones. So I'm going to be sharing all the things that I've compiled and all the things that I've learned using these, and hopefully you get a better understanding if you should purchase these, if these are the right headphones for you. So let's get into it. So I think it's important to start this review with my perspective on where I'm coming from. Um, I listen to music, podcast, um, YouTube, um, on my commute about eight hours out of the day, maybe 10. I have a three hour total commute on the train. So I constantly have headphones in and when I get to work, I'm on the computer all day. So, and when I'm on my lunch break, I'm constantly listening to music. So I'm very sensitive um, and what I value is battery life, I value comfort above all else, and um, that's kind of where I'm at in my experience in uh, my necessity in headphones. Also a little bit of workout necessity too. First thing I noticed with the Jabra, it was very difficult and took a long time for my phone to become acquainted with these headphones. There is a process of you introducing your phone to the headphones and then once your phone has been acquainted with them um, just the process of connecting them so those two it was difficult to introduce my phone to them it took a couple YouTube tutorials and some trial and error um, to finally get my phone to pick these up and then it was pretty easy from there on out not a lot of problems there actually once you open up the case it'll start a blue light on the headphones and that will begin picking up um, Bluetooth connectivity to straight to your phone. Also, the case, a little little bit about the case, these are easily able to fall out if you're not careful. Um, it has a very snappy, ugh, even the slightest thing, um, you gotta be careful with that, especially on public transportation, because um, that is very prone to happen. You gotta be very careful, because these aren't magnetized, there's not really a way, they just kind of sit and lay inside of the case. I actually, don't want to lose them. You can open the case upside down sometimes and then they become all jumbled. Sometimes it's not as clear which headphone goes in which slot, um, which it can be frustrating. Battery life is pretty great. Um, no complaints here. It's about five hours, which in this very young industry, uh, it's a lot. Um, usually Bluetooth headphones um, can go around two to even 12 hours, um, but Absolutely wireless headphones. I see. I've seen the average being about five hours, and five hours can do a lot, especially especially if they can be charged very quickly um, once you put them in the case. My biggest gripe with these, though, the reason I'm actually taking them and returning them is because of how they fit. Um, there's been a design trend where um, it's the suction cup fully enclosing in your ear. Um, much like this, unlike the design on the Apple AirPods. Um, this is a very popular design happening. And um, for me, uh, I'm not really a person that it'll fit very well. You can just slide it in and it'll fit pretty well. I thought um, it was great. It's just kind of fits snug in there. But for me, after a while, um, the outer edges kind of press on my ear and expanding it. And that can get very, very uh, uncomfortable for me. Um, I can't wear them for more than a, an hour without my ear aching or me taking it out and kind of massaging my ear um, to kind of get the blood flowing again, to kind of get the ache achiness out. So take that with a grain of salt because that might be my situation and not so much your situation. Um, but for me, I think I have pretty average sized ears. I don't know. I'm not a fucking expert on ear sizes, but I don't have big ears. I don't have small ears. Usually headphones tend to um, fit for me, but not so much this type of fit. And once you have the headphones inside of your ear, there'll be a little prompt, a little girl inside of your ear talking to you, giving you directions. It'll tell you the um, how much battery you have left in it. Um, one thing that I did notice, it does create a vacuum seal, so you have more of a enclosed experience when you're listening to music or podcasts, not so much um, noise kind of creeping in but a huge design flaw and something that bothers me a lot kind of creates 
headaches for me is whenever I'm eating and my jaw um, bounces up and down and, and kind of jumbles it in my ear then white noise kind of seeps in there every now every time my jaw goes up and down up and down so it's like a snap on snap off of white space so you can imagine how uncomfortable that can be this happens when I'm eating when I'm talking and it sometimes happens when I smile so maybe I'm listening to something some comedy thing podcast and somebody says something funny and I smile and then for a second all the white noise and all the traffic all the people talking on the train seeps in for a second and then gets cut off it can be a very jarring experience very nearly annoying as like getting it kind of feedback cutting off from Bluetooth that's the only thing I can kind of compare it to I've been using these headphones for around a month now uh, I've taken them to work I've worked at my desk here one thing that they had an excellent idea of doing is implementing more control so there's two buttons on each earbud that lets you control the volume uh, next track you can press and hold it um, you can initiate your Google Assistant um, however when you're using it and it's in your ear it can be a very uncomfortable process of pushing the button it's not like a touch button it's it's more it's it's less pressable so when you press it you kind of click click it's a not very easily pressable button so whenever you press it you push the earbud into your ear deeper and sometimes if it's already you're already kind of uncomfortable it kind of creates more discomfort and can be a, a very big problem when creating like a seamless experience good news is you will not ever have a problem with these falling out of your ears that was one thing that Jabra did extremely well so if you're working out, you're doing athletics, you're lifting weights, you're sprinting, you're doing backflips in the gymnasium, I'm very confident that these will not leave your ear. I recommend these if you want to do athletics for about like an hour, two hours, three hours. Um, it can get pretty aching for me at least uh, after a while. Um, not really something to take to, into the office with you or to kind of sit down for hours at a coffee shop. I wouldn't recommend these in that case. The design on the case is pretty standard. Um, it's kind of uh, bulky. It's not as slick as other cases that I've seen. Um, although kind of in the middle, like not as design savvy as Apple, but um, smaller and more slick than uh, cases such as the uh, Samsung. Right now, even right now, like my ear is actually getting sore doing this review and putting them in my ear for so long. So above all, comfort, was the biggest red flag for me when it comes to the Jabber Sport Elite. And um, whether or not that's true for you, I would recommend trying and getting them on Amazon, giving them a try. I know Amazon is really excellent with their return policies. So I'm just returning these and I'm gonna try out some other ones. I'm really liking the Apple AirPods, but for $250, I would look at your other options. It's a very, very young market for wireless, completely wireless earbuds. I'm really waiting for things to grow because as far as the sacrifices that I have to make um, to get a better experience, there's too much. There's not one company that's doing it perfectly. I have my ideas of what are the best completely wireless headphones. This one is not in the top five, but um, they are on sale on Amazon right now. I do not know for how long, but you get $100 off, so $150. I think I got these on, on sale, Amazon warehouse deals, which I always recommend. You can get something that's been hardly ever used um, if you just look at the used in the Amazon check section and check for Amazon warehouse deals. Um, I put a lot of trust in uh, that, and if you wanna try it, I haven't had any problems so far. I got a brand new TV. Um, I got tons of things that come from Amazon warehouse deals, but check it out. Let me know if this is something that you've decided from this video, whether or not you want to buy it or you want to pass. For me, I'm looking forward to completely wireless headphones being a thing in 2018. The market is still very young. Apple has put out their AirPods. Google has put out their challenge on the AirPods, the Google Buds, and there's still a lot of problems that I hear people having. 
Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this market progresses in 2018. Let me know what you think of this review. Give me some feedback. Hit the like button if you enjoyed and you've come to a sit or if you've come to a decision getting these or not. Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe for more stuff like this. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.